Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the features that Apple limited 4.0 on older devices. So as you know, 4.0 brought like multitasking and background wallpapers to the iPhone and iPod Touch, but older devices such as the iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G were lacking some of the features like multitasking and background wallpapers. Now what a lot of people don't know is that it came with those features possible, but because it is limiting on the RAM and battery, they wanted to enable it. And I believe the newest version of Red Snow will do this automatically for you if you want it to, but if you've already jailbroken, then this is just the easier option. So what you're going to want to do is download iFile, it's free in City or Rock, but open it up, go to the root folder, and then go to System, Library, Core Services, Springboard.app. And once you're there, there's a lot of files and stuff, but you're going to want to scroll down until you get to the ends. I missed it. Let me go back up. And there will be something called n72ap.plist. This is if you're, if you're on an iPod Touch. I believe it's something else for iPhone 3G or iPhones. It's something like n86. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll give you both the file names in the down bar. But just open that up. And you can see that here it has a value called capabilities, and it has all the things that it can do. So what you're going to want to do to enable it is go down. You can add it anywhere. Just make sure you add it after a string or something that says true. And I'll include the code that you want to put in the description. You might not, I might not be able to type some of the characters, so if not, then I'll have a download link with a text file. But if you can see, I added something that says um, there we go, multitasking, you're going to want to do open angled brackets, key, close angled brackets, multitasking, open angled brackets, slash key, close angled brackets. And once you do that, just hit true. And once you do that, you just save. You're going to want to hit edit and save. And then hit done. And then respring. And once you've resprung, you'll be able to multitask. It's the same principle for the background wallpapers. You see, I've enabled those. And as you can see, I can multitask. And there's the iPod controls and everything. So once you do that, you'll be able to multitask. I have noticed that it is sort of intensive on RAM. You can see there I only have 5 megabytes. But if it runs too low, then it'll just quit some things. I mean, in my opinion, it's better than regular. And also, my battery is running down a little faster, but it's nothing too bad or too much to worry about and if it annoys you, you can always turn it back off and I'll also show you that I have wallpapers enabled so there you see oh that's right next to me wallpaper and I can select something to put as my wallpaper let's just wallpaper and let's do that orange hit set and then you can set lock screen or set home screen. And now if I exit out, then you can see that my home screen has changed. So I just thought that was a cool little thing that I'd show you guys. Once again, you can do this if you jailbreak. Your Red Snow will automatically do it for you. But this is useful if you already have yours jailbroken. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.